Sup guys, Juggalo here, and I wasn't expecting these uh, fans to come in, but apparently they did. They're using uh, UPS Innovations uh, service, and it did, really didn't say it on Newegg. All it said is UPS Innovations, I think. Um, I'm, it might have said mail, but I don't know. But what I had to do is first I tried the UPS because UPS is you know thinking it would be that but instead it's the USPS uh, post office and so I went and tracked and it said oh it's gonna be picked up not sure like it received my electronic shipping information but it never said it was shipped so I wasn't expecting it today so I got the fans and I'll go ahead and read some of the specs that are important I guess to you uh, it's going to be a fluid dynamic bearing noise is 18.9 decibels uh, air pressure is 1.24 millimeter H2O speed it's going to be 1200 RPM fan and then airflow is going to be 56.22 so there you go that's the CFM and now I'm going to see if I have to solder this crap here and I have a power LED for the fan right here but I'm hoping I don't need that and I could just plug it in so let me go ahead and undo this twisty should have done that before I made the video but oh well it only takes a couple seconds and here is the fan itself this is a bit Phoenix fan green LED right here so there you go and then I have two little guys I like using if you guys don't know already um, have this guy right here for uh, excuse me four pin Molex it goes AC wall to four pin Molex it's a great adapter highly recommend in getting it and then I have a Sunbeam uh, fan extender I think that's what it's called I can hook up to six fans if I want to but I'm just going to use this as my tester so I'm going to go ahead and hook up my deal and uh, as you can tell it lights up blue and then in my video with the uh, case labs case what I did was just do the 12 volt positive and then the neutral ground wire which is black and the reason why I did that is because all these wouldn't be lit up it takes a 5 volt source to light these up so just keep that in mind so we're gonna see how loud this fan is and I gotta put it somewhere where it's not gonna you know jump everywhere and hoping the fan lights up green and it does and it's really really silent here's the fan itself and that's gonna look awesome with the case color that I have it's really gonna pop out it looks pretty cool also, the fan comes with um, black screws for mounting, which is nice. It comes with that power LED wire. Um, why you would need it, I have no idea, but it does come with it. I guess if you really want, you can hook it up like to your uh, power if you want, or reset switch, or hard drive activity light, just to have some bling to it, I guess, maybe? Mm -hmm. But here we go. And then you have a Molex connector to uh, your two pin uh, connection for the fan. Red is going to be your uh, 12 volt, and then black is going to be your ground. If you're using a standard Molex connector, yellow is going to be your 12 volt, and then black is going to be your ground. So, yeah. Also, you get these nice little guys right here. It has a anti-vibration uh, install. So if you have it like a window and you don't want to hear a whole bunch of vibration going on, you got these guys, which is pretty nice too. And they're pretty quiet, nice and silent. And I'll just be quiet so you can't hear my voice over uh, bearing the fan. So here it is. And I'll try to get closer. And then I'll flip it so you can see if there's any wind. 
but that is it. This is going to look sick. So, I can't wait to try it out. Um, there's definitely some rubbing going on somewhere, so I'm going to have to figure out why it's doing that. But I also notice if you turn it around a certain way, it won't rub. So, I guess that's it, guys. Looks sweet to me. I like the design. But I guess that's it, guys. Comment, subscribe, rate this video, click that like button. You guys have a great day.